Hi, my name is Andy from Mod Cloth. I'm going to be teaching you how to do the look I'm wearing right now, which will be really great for summer weddings or special occasions. So first, I'm going to take a, a really olive green color that's shimmery and um, iridescent, and I'm going to take a eyeshadow brush. It's flat and it's kind of firm, so that way you can get a lot of pigment in on there, and just apply it. Take the brush into the pigment and you're going to apply it directly on your lid. And you're going to use a pressing motion so that way the pigment gets placed on there evenly. So you're going to take it from the base of the lash line right to the crease. You're not going to go any higher than the crease. So just keep patting it in. So you can see there's a really shimmery, um, a lot of glitter in it. And then after this, you're gonna take a eyeshadow brush that's a crease brush. So that means it's kind of shaped like an oval and um, you can get right in on the crease to blend. So just take a little bit of the shadow and start blending in a, you know, a motion like a windshield wiper so that way you're blending it nicely. If you want more um, pigment on the lid, go ahead and just keep layering it in by pressing. And then again, take the crease brush and just blend with the light hand. You don't have to go too heavy, just making sure all the harsh or the hard lines are smoothed out. So next I'm going to take the same green color and apply it to the lower lash line using a pointed brush. This is a liner brush. Um, it's kind of stiff, a little soft too, so that way it's a little flexible. But um, the point of this brush is to line, um, to use it as a liner. So just apply the pigment right underneath the lower lash line. You can use dotted motions and pat it in as well so that way the pigment doesn't um, fall underneath. Just press it in. And if you want to blend it, um, you could either use a cotton swab or the same uh, fluffy eyeshadow brush just to blend right here. And if you do have any pigment that falls underneath, like right here, just take a you know sponge and you can just um, clean it up. It acts like a little eraser. So to highlight your brow bone, you're going to use a, uh, I like to use the angled eyeshadow brush, and um, it's kind of the same um, natural hairs as the crease brush you use, so fluffy and soft. Um, I'm going to use kind of a neutral egg shell color um, to apply it on the brow bone right underneath the brow to just highlight it. So you could just blend it in over your entire brow bone. Using like long sweeping motions. And then I'm gonna use a pinkish shimmery shade to act as a further highlight for the brow bone, but I'm only gonna put it right underneath my eyebrow. And also on the inner corners of my eyes.
Next is the liner. So since this is in the summer and during the day, you don't want to go too dark on your liner. Um, I'm going to use a kind of chocolate shade um, pencil liner. And it's really um, just really blendable and not too dark. So to apply it, I'm just first going to sharpen. And then I pull my eyelid a little bit taut so that way it has a flat surface to apply the liner on. And then start on the inner corner and just use dotted motions to draw the line. And it's up to you how thick of a line that you want it to be. Um, since it's during the day, you don't want to go too o overboard with your liner. And just apply it as close to your eyelashes as possible so there's no um, gaps of skin showing through. It's uh, even. So if you want to um, blend it a little more so it's not as harsh of a line, take the liner brush and go right over it and blend it up. So next I'm going to apply the same liner on the bottom of the lash line and um, I kind of pull my lower lash line down a little bit so I can angle the brush or the liner um, right on the lower lash line. So kind of similar to what we did with the pigment. And use the brush to blend again. So if you want to blend the green shadow that we used with the liner, um, you could take the same brush, the liner brush, into the green shadow again and then just reapply it. So that way there's another layer of the green with the brown and just blend it in. And next we're going to do mascara. First, I'm going to curl my eyelashes just with a normal eyelash curler. And what I do first is place the eyelash curler at the very base of your lashes and just pump the curler once or twice. And then bring it a little bit higher to the mid middle of your lashes. And then lastly, at the tips of your lashes. That way there's a nice even curl from the base to the middle and then to the very tips. And next is mascara. And so this is actually kind of important. You want to make sure you're using a waterproof mascara so that way for when um, it doesn't run, it doesn't smudge anywhere. And I also find that waterproof mascara holds the curl a lot longer. So with the wand, you're going to take it horizontal and just apply it to the base of your lashes and wiggle it up. And it's up to you how many uh, coats you want to put on, but the more coats you do, the thicker your lashes will look. So I like to do a couple co coats, so two to three coats, to get a full, a full lash effect. So to get underneath the bottom of your lashes, hold it vertical and just kind of paint each eyelash up so that way you're getting at the very bottom all the way to the top. And then at the very bottom lashes, also keep it vertical and just swipe it back and forth. And then you could go horizontal with a wand just to get the tops of the lashes. So if you get any mascara where you don't want it, I just take a cotton swab. And you can lightly dip it in makeup remover um, if you want to do that, or just dry works fine. And just clean it up wherever you got mascara where you didn't want it to be. And then next is your brows. So um, I use a powder shadow that's kind of an ashy brown since I'm a brunette. Um, for blondes, I would use a little bit more of um, a just regular chocolate brown color and go light with it and um, not too heavy on um, the definition. 
And since it's during the day, again, like just apply with a really light hand. I'm using an angled uh, brush, the liner brush. It has stiff bristles, so that way you can get a lot of control and definition. Um, so just apply it in the powder. And you're gonna wanna start at the very um, closest to your nose, so this side of your brow. And with a really light hand, just define your brows. And follow your natural arch. You're not gonna go too heavy with it, just enough for definition. So those are basically the eyes, um, which is really lots of color, not too heavy with the eyeliner at all. Um, if you want to use liquid liner, I would suggest doing the pencil first and then just tracing over it with the liquid liner. So that way, it's another way of getting your liner to, to last as long as possible. Next, I'm going to be doing the cheeks and it's basically um, a lot of color. So I'm using an orange shimmery shade and then a really nice pink um, shade for the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, blush brush and use the orange shade to contour. So contouring is taking it and just defining your natural um, cheekbones. So I'm just going to swipe it underneath my cheekbones. If you're not sure how far to, to go or where your cheekbones are, just kind of suck it in and you can see the lines that pop through and just follow that. And then the pink shade, it's going to be for the apples of your cheeks. It'll give a nice rounded um, pop on the apples of your cheeks. So it's just going to be right here and right here. And so I'm going to use a sponge again to just blend both colors out. And if you want to do further contouring like around your forehead, um, you could use the orange shade to do that too, just to give a little definition. And so that's basically all there is to it for the cheeks. Um, next would be the lips. I'm actually going to use a lip liner first that's similar to the natural shade of my, of my lips. Um, basically because um, I want my lipstick to last as long as possible, so this will give a really nice base to um, my lipstick that I'm going to put and layer over it. So this color is kind of like a taupe color, and I'm just going to line it starting at the cupid's bow of my lips. Going all the way down. And also line the bottom. Just follow your natural line. And then fill it all the way in. So now you have a really nice base for applying lipstick. And I'm going to use um, a nice orange shimmery um, lipstick. It's really hydrating and it's not matte, it's actually um, a hydrating lipstick. And this is gonna stay um, on for probably the duration of when you're at the wedding or wherever you're gonna be um, because you have that base of your lip liner to go underneath it. So I'm taking it and applying it with a lip brush that's flat and um, rounded. It's gonna allow you to just line the lip basically the same way that you lined it with the pencil. So starting with uh, the cupid's bow again, I'm going to line my lip. And if you get lipstick outside of your lip line, you can certainly use a little bit of concealer um, with a concealer brush to just cover um, wherever you went outside the lip line. And so to make sure your whole entire look stays throughout, um, 
the wedding, I like to use translucent powder and this will set everything and make sure, you know, it's controlling the shine when you're sweating or you're out there dancing. You want to make sure all of your makeup will stay in place. So I take a powder brush, it's really fluffy, and swirl it around so nice and even. And just basically sweep it all over your face to set the makeup in. So this will act as a first layer in terms of making sure everything is nice and smooth and even. And when you're sweating, it's not going to budge or um, smear off. It's going to stay in place because of this powder. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any future suggestions on what kind of makeup tutorials you'd like to see, please do let me know and comment below.